All right, so today's video is about how to create universally unique identifiers, UUIDs. These are globally unique identifiers with JavaScript. So both in Node and in the browser, there is a crypto module that has been added to create these things. Now the standard itself, this is a broadly accepted standard for creating these unique identifiers, uh, originally put forward by Microsoft and a few other companies. This is the standard that the new crypto module can now support. So we're going to come and look in the browser, but first we're going to start in Node. So I'm going to take a look inside of here. In Node, you want to import the crypto module. If that exists, if it's supported, then we've got two different ways of doing it. The original way, if you went to crypto web crypto get random values in node, this would let you generate truly cryptographically secure random numbers. Unlike math.random, which does a pseudo random thing, but it can be predicted what those numbers are going to be, this will give you a much more secure way of generating random values. And we'll talk about this whole thing right here when we jump into the browser. But for now, just know that since about 2013, 2014, this is what was supported in the browser, this approach to get random values. And with an older version of Node, this was supported. The new one in 2021, 2022, this is now supported in Node as well as all the browsers. So I'm going to run it first and we're going to get this one. It's going to say it'll be this portion of my if statement that runs. I'm looking to see if this method is in the crypto object. If it is, then boom, there we go. We have a random ID. And every time I run it, I get another unique random ID. But the fallback is the original one. So that's what this method right here is. We're taking a string, we're looping through it and replacing all of the zeros, ones, and eights in that string with random values and then converting them to base 16 numbers to get the same thing as this. So if I change my if statement here, so it never runs the other side of it, we're only going to be running this portion. Now when I run it, you can see it's doing the same thing. It's getting us those random generated values. All right, so in the browser, that's what we're doing here. This is the formula. So I'll use this to explain what's happening with get random values in the, in the, the fallback method. The browser does, let me close this. Here we go. Here's my script that's running in the browser. The browser does support the random UUID. So that method can be called in the browser. And I'm going to write that off when I run the script in my browser, when I click the button and it runs the script, it's going to do both the get random values and the random UUID just to show that both work in the current version of Chrome here. Uh, it does work in the other browsers as well. So there we go. It is starting with this string right here, and then all of the numbers except for the four, so the ones, the zeros, and the eight, are all being replaced with random digits from zero up to F, so it's a hexadecimal digit. And this is looping through, this is the, my script in the regular expression that is looking at this thing, and these are the values that it's replacing each of them with, and if you look down here, this is the result. So it's turning this into this. I mean, I can zoom in a little bit here to take a look at this, but here's the values that we're getting generated from this string right here. All right, so I'll refresh this so we can just look at the formula. What we have here is this is becoming a string. So inside the square brackets, I have one times 10 to the power of seven. That is that first portion right here. And then we've got one to the power of one times 10 to the power of three, four times 10 to the power of three, eight times 10 to the power of three, and one times 10 to the power of 11. So these are the original values that we're generating right here. Because I wrap this in square brackets, it becomes an array. When I say plus after an array, it converts this into a string. So I get just this number right here. Then I'm saying add the negative 1,000 plus negative 4,000 plus negative 8,000. And these become strings because the first value is a string, so it just concatenates all of this to generate this one big long string. Then my regular expression says 
globally, within that string, find all the zeros, ones, and eights. For each one of those, we're going to run this function, the result of which will be converted to a string. So this will create a number that I convert into a base 16 string. So that is my random hexadecimal digit from 0 to f. The portion inside of here, here's the steps. These are the things that are being done inside of there. So we create an unsigned integer array. So this is a typed array we're creating. Basically, it's creating an array filled with zeros like this. My crypto get random values method is going to populate that with random with a random number from 0 to 255. That's what will fit inside of here. If this is all ones, it's the number 255. If it's all zeros, it's zero. So in that range, a random cryptographically secure number will be generated. And because it's an array, we say grab the first thing. I only have one thing in my array, but I'm getting that first thing. So that's the starting point, is we get this random number between 0 and 255. Inside of here, we're taking C, which is the 0, 1, or 8, dividing it by 4. So it's going to be a 0, 0 0.25. The 0.25 is going to be truncated, or 2. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. We're taking the number 15, which is 1111 in binary. So the four ones and if it's 0 or 1, we just have the four ones. If it's a 2, then it gets shifted over and we get the number 3. So this becomes either 15 or 3. And then we take our random number, the 255, and we do a bitwise AND. Basically what we're doing is we're truncating the number down to a maximum of 15, or for the 1, 8 here, this is going to be a maximum of three for that one character, but everything else, it's a maximum of 15, or in hexadecimal, a maximum of F. The last step in the process is this one right here. And this is doing a bitwise exclusive OR, XOR. And basically, it takes every one of the bits, and if one or the other of the bits in this number that we've generated right here. And the C, which is the 0, 1, 8, so it compares these two numbers and at the bit level. And if the top and bottom bits are one or the other is a 1, the result is a 1. If both are 1s, it becomes a 0. If both are zeros, it becomes a 0. So you've got a 50-50 chance for every single bit inside of here that each bit is going to become a 1 or a 0. So it randomizes even further whatever the result of all of this is. And that gets you even further away from the generation of the number. So this is considered to be the most cryptographically secure way of generating each one of the digits that are going to be inside of here that you're replacing all of these except for the eight with. So when we run it, each of these things is a cryptographically secure random value that we then use to stick back together and that becomes our UUID. And that's it. That is how you create UUIDs in both Node and in the browser in a cryptographically secure way. So hope that helps you out. Um, if you're looking for a copy of the code, both the Node.js version and the browser version are linked to down in the description through the same code gist. And as always, thanks for watching.